Hello and welcome to Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy TV and it's my great pleasure to introduce Elena Maria and Maria Luisa from the International Integrative Psychotherapy Association interviewed in Italy, you're in Italy and we're going to talk a little bit about the fantastic conference that is taking place in Milan in March of this year between the 20th and the 25th so very welcome to MIP TV and thank, you. Uh, thank, you, thank, thank you so much for taking the time so just tell us a little bit about the International Integrative Psychotherapy Association when was it formed and what was it what's its a function for want of a better word Hi, okay. Yes, so thank you for uh, this interview. This uh, I, It's a pleasure for me to, to, to talk about this because I think it's very important, this, uh, this association is a professional association. And, uh, well, a little bit of story, uh, starting from 2000, uh, all the person that mm, for, well, have been following the integrative approach all over the world uh, connected and decided to uh, found a, an inter international association in order to permit to allow all the person to meet and also to recognize themselves in belonging to a same association with uh, a same background with the same philosophy and with the same practice. Uh, so that has been a very important moment uh, in which uh, we decide uh, to put this kind of link all over the world. This is the eighth conference. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I'm presuming that this is the, it, how long has the, how long has this association been going for? How long has it been running? When did it start? Yeah, the, the, the association starts in 2000, but then we started with the conferences because the conferences is a, a main moment of our association because it is a, the real moment in which we can meet. We can see each other mm -hmm. in the face and and we can talk and we can confront and we can share. So the conference is a very important moment in, uh, we, in which we, we contact, we update, we exchange experiences. This is a, a, a sharing, an important sharing as persons and professionals this is very much a meeting of like-minded people uh, professionals with the same vision with the same ideas with the same philosophies exactly. exactly we started in 2001 in new york and then every two years we had um, conferences and so the next one will be in milan uh in uh, this year 2017 and we had already in Italy another conference, which was in 2007 in Rome. But then we had in France, in uh, Spain, twice in Spain, and uh, in UK, and uh, in Slovenia. And so we are very proud that we could uh, go around in Europe, also uh, giving welcome to people coming from so many parts of the world. This year in, in uh, Milan, we will welcome person coming from Russia, from South Africa, from Australia, uh, from Turkey, uh, to, so uh, from Canada, from so many countries, South America. So it's a really international conference. Yeah, it sounds like it's travelled Europe and now it's spreading out into the world at large. Yes, so I imagine that our next conferences <laughs> will be outside Europe. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, any idea where that might be? Have you got what's it, what? Have you got any plans for the next outside Europe yeah, conference? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yes, exactly. <laughs> where do you think it may be? 
Where do you think it might be? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you th where do you think in the world it might be? Ah, well, oh well, well, I still have no a, a real idea. Probably could be in Romania yeah, yeah. again, so in the place of East Europe. But I don't know. I would like also Turkey, uh, Turkish, mm -hmm. uh, Turkey, and uh, well. Uh, it depends which country will be available also to do this. Yes, this kind of work. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. it takes it takes organization and and lots yeah, of planning, it takes a lot doesn't it? Organization, of course. Yes, and also we would like to have a place where it's not so difficult for people to travel to. So. Yes, okay. a, a location that's easy to access and yeah, people yeah. can get that. So this conference is running in March. It runs from the 20th to the 25th, Monday to Friday. <laughs> Who will be speaking at this conference? Who are the people that will be addressing the delegates? And, and what will be going on at the conference? What what kind of activities will people experience? Yeah, yeah, the, the activities are very interesting, are many, so... Uh, mostly are uh, workshops in parallel. So we will open with a, a session all together, but then every day uh, in the morning and in the afternoon we will have parallel um, workshops with many trainers or psychotherapists or even counselors in, with integrative approach. And the title of the conference is uh, the healing relationship, uh, body, mind, and spirit. So it's uh, a very important title for us uh, because uh, uh, now we knew we know uh, that there is a very deep interconnection from the body and the mind at the point we cannot even let's say distinguish mm -hmm. right from this uh, to these two interfaces and but i think that also this is the part in which probably we are conditioned from uh, our nature and so for me the spirit is uh, the part that is free so is the part with who which allows uh, ourselves to gain uh, a sort of freedom, a sort of uh, unconditioned situation from the condition of body and mind when they are uh, so um, only natural, let's say, so uh, or maybe social conditioned. So I think that uh, every person as his own point of view about what is spirit, what is a soul, and this will be a very important confront among so many persons interested in this three angle uh, of of the life. Yeah, it, it sounds very much like an intersubjective approach, where you're looking not only about the relationship but also about the spiritual connection that exists between two human beings. Reminds me very much of the work of Petruska Clarkson. And, yeah, and, it's, yeah, the intersubjective uh, position is, uh, is, is, gives the sense to everybody because uh, it's clear for us now that uh, uh, we are depending each other continuously and we are co-creating every moment of our life and this is uh, a important moment in which we take also res responsibility for our own soul spirits body mind uh, especially in this moment of I think of the history of the universal uh, health history because uh, well, because oh I think that we have uh, done so many progresses 
as human beings. We, we are so advanced in so many things, not only techniques, but also uh, of human interchanges. And at the same time, the temptation from so many parts is to to push uh, bad, um, uh, I don't know, bad stimuli. And so we have to deal with so important reality, which, is, which are bad stimuli, but also to evaluate so many good stimuli that we have from the history of the heart. So yeah, it's important for me to evaluate this. Yes. Sounds like a very comprehensive response to the question. And, but yes, you give a real sense of what that uh, mind, body, spirit and the relationship is. And that's just, that's just so important. So thank you so much, uh, Alina Maria, for agreeing to come on and speaking about the conference. We'll put some details in the, in the, in the comments bar below so people can click onto, your, onto the website. And if they're interested, they can find more details, maybe book on. And uh, again, from Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy TV, I'm aware we've not, we've not spoken too much to Maria Louise, who's in the background there, but um, maybe, maybe we'll catch up again. But from all of us at Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy TV, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to you, Rory. Thank you.